My time as artist in residence at King Range National Conservation Area has come to a close. Like wine, it's bittersweet. I didn't want to leave, but it's also nice to be back at the Laka Laka Lounge. Now that I'm back into the real world, I have plenty of regularly scheduled art to take care of. Plus the Sleeping Giants Project and the Military Bible Project, which I still have yet to come up with a name for. I'll tell you more about those later. But first, let's go to the Laka Laka Lounge. Good evening, composers and creators, sailors and soldiers, citizens and civilians. Welcome to this week's episode of Before the Mast, a show where you get content that is worth exactly what you're paying for it. I am Aaron Burks, a melancholic sweetheart with an asshole streak and random bouts of mania. I am here to guide you through the confusion that is my every Wednesday night. Yesterday was Mardi Gras. I heard someone at the grocery store yesterday call it Mardi Gras. I also heard someone call Louisville, Louisville. I guess they didn't get the memo that the S is silent in both accounts. But I digress. Digress? Today, we're going to go down to the Mississippi Delta to partake of a New Orleans delicacy. No. Almost. That's right, friends. Hurricanes. Hurricanes were said to have started at Pat O'Brien's Bar in New Orleans sometime during World War II. The name is an apparent nod to a glass which looks like a hurricane lamp. They give you these delightful concoctions and little plastic hurricane cups that you walk down the street drinking unto excess until you throw up in front of a po'boy shop at the end of Bourbon, buy another one and turn around and start all over again, heading the other way. I love New Orleans. For this drink, you will need light rum, dark rum, passion fruit syrup, lemon juice, orange juice, grenadine, cherries, and an orange for garnish. You're also going to need a cocktail umbrella. Very important. And then you'll need an ice-filled shaker with crushed ice and an ice-filled hurricane glass. Or if you're like me and you're lacking in the hurricane glass department, use a Collins glass. Let the good times roll. First in your ice-filled cocktail shaker, pour two ounces of light rum. Two ounces of dark rum. One ounce of lemon juice. One ounce of passion fruit syrup. Two ounces of orange juice. A dash of grenadine. and half an ounce of simple syrup. And now, shake it like you're trying to get them beads. Strain it into your glass.
garnish with an orange wheel, and a cherry. Take your cocktail umbrella. This is a hurricane. This is Le Bon Tim Brule. That tastes exactly like New Orleans. The good parts, I mean. That is tasty. It's fruity and sweet. If you don't like sweet drinks, this one's not for you. If you do like sweet drinks, you're in for a treat. Try it yourself. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Cheers. This week, instead of story time with boats, I'll update you on my current schedule. And I'll give you a recap of my month at the King Range National Conservation Area. Right now on the commission side, I have eight chart drawings on the table, one large painting, and one smaller painting in progress. Much of this was in response to a need I put out on Facebook and LinkedIn regarding being in a financial pickle while I was in the wilderness. If you commissioned art in February, thank you. And here's to you. You hooked your boy up. I'm still working on the Sleeping Giants, Pearl Harbor veterans then and now. I have 13 more survivors to draw, so that's... 26 drawings. I've drawn 15, that's 30 drawings, because each person gets two portraits. I hope to have those finished by early summer and then the real fun begins. The paintings. Close to 60 portraits must be painted. The big goal is to have that done by December 7th of this year. I'll keep you posted on how that goes. Next is my little side quest. The Military Testament, or Armed Forces Bible. I haven't really come up with a good working name for that one yet. But it is going to be an epic, illuminated manuscript consisting of stories of each service branch that we always seem to tell to each other, as well as venerated members of the military that we've seemed to have sainted. There is no due date on this yet, but it'll start ramping up once the Sleeping Giants project draws to a close. Now, let me tell you about my stint as artist in residence at King Range National Conservation Area in Northern California. I spent three weeks hiking and exploring Shelter Cove and the surrounding conservation area. I climbed a mountain. I walked many miles of shoreline, imbibed many cocktails, met many people, made many friends, and in between all of that still managed to create 15 pieces of art. Seven oil paintings, two watercolors, three drawings, charcoal, and two graphite drawings. In the end, the Shelter Cove Arts and Recreation Foundation and the Bureau of Land Management gave me a wonderful gallery show. So I want to thank a couple of people. Sandy Miles, Bureau of Land Management Outdoor Recreation Coordinator, Mark Mitchell, SCARF President, Effie Bordeaux, SCARF Vice President, Denise Reed, also from SCARF, Cynthia Eden, who coordinated getting me out of the barracks, and into a nice house with an inspiring view. There were many other people who helped me out. In fact, the whole community was outstanding. Someday, I want to live in Shelter Cove, someday, maybe. And now, in memoriam to Willie the Whale, whose life was tragically cut short under questionable circumstances, your presence will be noticeable in the cove for a long time, both visually and olfactory. I hope you're straining large amounts of kelp in heaven's seas. It's too late to drink to Willie's health, so, I'll drink to yours. May your liver always keep up and that bitch-ass Rona never catch up. 
Cheers.